Woke comedians. So basically, this is a topic I've wanted to talk about for a little while, but I always wanted to fixate on one woke comedian, right? James Barr. He's more or less the same as any other woke comedian, so basically, you got more chance of laughing at a six-year-old's funeral than one of his jokes. In my opinion, it's a fucking insult to everyone in the comedy industry to call this man a comedian or call this geezer funny. To be honest, this geezer wouldn't have been known by anyone if it wasn't for Piers Morgan Uncensored. So basically, he goes on this show like every now and again, and Piers Morgan only has him on to like kind of have an argument with him. I don't, know how many, I don't know how many times he's been on there, right? But every time he's on there, he looks like a fucking idiot. The shouldn't story be called about dwarves. Be called... They shouldn't be called dwarves. No, they should be called people with they dwarfism. Be called... What's wrong with being they called, be dwarves? called dwarves? Nothing, but that's not the correct That's the term. story. Dylan, the apparently story you should, you're not allowed to call yourself dwarves. Apparently, Dylan, you're not allowed to call yourself dwarves, apparently. I would love to hear, what should I call myself, sir? I think you should call yourself whatever you feel comfortable with, but as a person... He calls himself a dwarf. A dwarf. That's, that's a great. A dwarf. Then. Good yeah. for you. I'm happy to... So, that's... so now... Are you feeling a gay connection to these mushrooms? Listen, I feel a gay connection to a lot of things, Piers, including yourself right now. Really? I, um, I would say that mushrooms scientifically have about 23,000 different genders. So that's where this exhibit, exhibit is coming from. 23,000 genders of mushrooms. Exactly. Okay. There's not, mate. This is a mushroom. No, well, ask a scientist if you don't believe me. I'm not... I've got to ask a scientist. This is called a mushroom. That's yeah, it. but they're, like, they're fungi... Nothing and they're sexual about mushrooms. What? Sex is not about mushrooms, no. Uh, it's so about why are we having with... some queer celebration of things like mushrooms? I just don't understand why you care. Why is this such a problem? I care because I don't see the bat of it. <laughs> Basically, you lot, we're just having little butchers at what this geezer does when he does stand-up comedy, what kind of jokes he tells, how funny he might be, because you never know, he might be funny. This is the first time I've ever watched him do stand-up comedy. So, uh, yeah, let's have a little look. How are we? Um, I'm James Barr. I do look cute and innocent, but I should warn you, my jokes are ruder than James Corden in a restaurant. Right, the joke weren't terrible. It weren't great. It weren't terrible, though. Um, yeah, the delivery was shit. I think that's what kind of killed it. I'm 38 years old. Thank you. I know I do look really hot. Oh, my days. Fuck off, you bellend. How's that a joke? He's just saying that he thinks he looks good. Like, he don't. He looks like a prick. What's the joke meant to be? Oh, yeah, I'm 38, but I look about five. Like, what the fuck? I'm actually fresh from celebrating three and a half years with my boyfriend. <laughs> Thank you. And I don't know if you relate, like, being a gay man, I grew up with a lot of shame, so I sort of felt like I didn't deserve love. I feel like this is a lot of his comedy, or just basically his whole personality, because every time he talks about something, it's about being gay. When people do comedy, it's got to be kind of, you know, understandable, and, you know, in some t sometimes it can be relatable, so that's what kind of makes it funny. But with this, I can't really relate to it, because a lot of the material is just about being gay. Being in a relationship is very boring. Um, we've been together for three and a half years, and I don't know, but in lockdown, kind of killed the magic, so our relationship now feels a bit like Jesse Nelson from Little Mix's solo career. <laughs> Disappointing, and everyone's trying really hard to make it work. Flats on your fucking face, right? I reckon the only people laughing in the audience are his mum, maybe one of his aunties, and his boyfriend. All three members of the James Barr fan club. I used to make quite a lot of effort, but I don't really bother anymore you know like I used to close the bathroom door and now I just leave it wide open <laughs> and that is just when I'm shaving my pubes <laughs> obviously I'm joking I don't do that now he's trapped um, <laughs> the other reason that I've stopped shaving my pubes I wonder if you do this it's the environment what are you on about are you oh my days oh yeah I want to shave the planet so I don't shave my ball bags w what's going on like, I'm quite concerned about what happens to them, because they're, they're quite thick, right? <laughs> so, what happens to them when I flush them away? Like, do cute, innocent little sea turtles gobble them up? <laughs> what? Just put them in... What the fuck? It's not even just funny, it's just strange, like... <laughs> I don't want a fish choking on my pubes, guys. Oh, right, is he still going on the back? Okay, sweet. You lot, I won't lie to you, I don't really want that either, because every now and again, I do enjoy cod and chips, right? So basically, if I find one of his hairs in it, nah. I don't care if a man chokes on them, that's consent. <laughs> but I can't do that to Dory from Finding Nemo. <laughs> just keep swimming, just keep... <laughs> As a fan of stand-up comedy and a fan of many comedians around the world, something I've learned, right, 
Do not drag out the joke. So basically, this joke, it's not funny to begin with, right? But let's say you got a decent joke, right? And you drag it out because you think you got people laughing. It just makes the joke unfunny. And all the time that you're spending, you know, dragging it out, you could have spent, I don't know, making another joke or two. Um, the other thing I used to do is I used to hold my farts in. Do you still hold those in, guys? No, you just let them out? Right, so I'm just going to skip over this bit because this bit's just unfunny and cringe. It just goes on for another 40 seconds going on about how he farts and tries to hide it from his boyfriend. It's just not funny, is it? Like, if you're barely a few minutes into your comedy stand-up special, right, and you're making fart jokes, you need to sort yourself out, mate. Like, what's, what's going on? You're not funny. Right, so I just watched, like, another minute or so of this and basically it's just all unfunny sex jokes, so I'm skipping forward a little bit. Sometimes we don't even finish. You know, like, when you don't need to watch your favourite movie. You don't need to get to the end of it, right? Like, I've seen The Boy in the Striped Pyjamas. I know how that finishes. <laughs> I warned you fuckers, OK? <laughs> Is that meant to be his, like, kind of near-the-mark kind of joke? It wasn't really much of a joke. He just said that he knows how the film ends just because it's got a sad ending with a load of Jews dying. It wasn't even offensive. And he was like, oh, I warned you, I warned you. But he, like, it wasn't offensive, was it? <laughs> um, guess how many men I've slept with. Go. What do you think? Zero. Only women. You look very straight. How many men have I slept with? What do you think? It's OK. Safe space. Thank you. 150. Great start. Um, <laughs> I do think I'm a little hotter, though, but thank you. Any higher than 150? What are we thinking? Just shout it out. What? 500, thank you. Any higher than 500? Any higher than 500? What are you saying over here? It's just strange, mate. It's like he's doing a fucking bid. 15. <laughs> right, is that the amount of men that he slept with, or is that the oldest age that he goes for? Um, I think, if I'm honest with you, it's probably over 1,000. Is that judgment? Well, if it is, mate, then I can see why, because your ass probably looks like the Blackwall Tunnel. Furthermore, if it's definitely over a thousand, then you've probably got more STIs in a Subaru garage. I was having a really meaningful conversation with this one guy on, um, on Grindr, and I don't know, they just, people are so great on the apps, aren't they? I was like, hi, and he replied, hi. What are you up to? Not much. Oh, cool. I like your pics. A day goes by. Me again. Hi. What are you up to? Gym. Oh, I was going to go, but like I'm so hungover. Lol. A day goes by. Me again. Hi. What are you up to? Hung over. You? <gasps> He's so into me! Uh, my God, yes. Uh, I've been James Barr. Thank you so much, everyone. Have a wonderful night. Easier, you shit at comedy. Get off social media. Thank you. Right, lads. Cheers for watching today's video. If you did enjoy it, please do drop a like. Subscribe to the channel if you want to. Turn on notifications as well so you never miss a video. And yeah, I'll see you lot in a bit. Take care and goodbye. Sometimes I am bored of being gay. You know, perpetuating stereotypes. Drinking iced coffee, even though it's seven degrees outside. So I'm trying something new. I'm in my Dharma era. Let me know what you think.